Hello everyone, and welcome back to Rage 2. Now the only thing I don't like about this car is the limited angle of the frontal miniguns. I cannot turn right or left. Okay, uh, so we're going to recruit more old people. Even with Nitro, car feels really slow. Maybe I have to upgrade it. Let's see, actually. Um, I can upgrade tons of stuff. Like, there's tons of skills here. Damage from bullets. Yeah. Oh, I need a blue meth for that. Okay. Uh, combat shotgun. I'm gonna save my points to this bad boys. Hyper cannon, charge pulse cannon. Definitely gonna try them. Can we upgrade our car? Oh god, oh god, lots of cars here! What? Hold on, what the fuck is that? Hold on. What the hell is this? It's a tank car. That's cool. Uh, now this is a trader car, I don't like that. What the fuck? Hold Tumblr! Check this out! Xerxes 3. That's insane. Oh shit! Tough landing. Oh god. It's so annoying that I cannot break trees in this game with my vehicle. That is so annoying. Can't even break fences, like, come on. What kind of road is this? Yeah. Where are you, Dr. Fasner? came looking for a Dr. Kvasir here. There you are. Let me just... I see. Uniform is wartime issue. Modified for use in eco-pod fortification. Vineland, no? Then you must be... Yes. Second generation artist. How fascinating. Vineland, yes. I'm pretty much what's left of it. Hmm. You check out. Hold on, I will let you in. I hope he's gonna give me some good weapon. Hello, Doctor. Welcome, Ranger. Welcome. It's been too long since I played host to one of your kind. Dr. Anton Kvasir, genius scientist with a shifty past. Original Arcist, pre-Apophis. They say he worked for the Authority and helped create their mutant soldiers. Then he turned on his masters, joined the cause, fought alongside my folks in the Authority War. Not sure how I feel about mad scientists at this point, but I do need his help. It's, uh, it's an impressive setup, uh, Dr. Kvasir. Kvasir, yes, my lab suffices. Legs. <laughs> my research used to be more mechanically inclined. But over time, the machines, it turns out, fail. I prefer to rely now on genetically engineered solutions, simply because they can heal. Makes sense, I guess. I hope you don't mind, Walker, yes? I put your scan through my arc mainframe. I know you now. 
your parents. Such a tragedy when they were lost. But Irvina proudly took you in, no? She did. As if I was her own. But they killed her. They destroyed everything I ever knew. Dead? Oh, no. She was formidable. I was always hoping to. But alas, no. It was a massacre, an unstoppable force. Mutants, a new kind of creature. All tech and armor and guns, and huge, taller than any building. And they were led by a man, General Martin Cross. Oh, he is back then. It was to be expected. He meant his lapdog scientist, Dr. Bendros, were always hard at work on their longevity project. But you see, for that problem, I just might have some solutions. Solutions? I've got one for you. Project Dagger. Ah, you know. <laughs> yes, of course you do. Crowley must have told you already. It will be easy for me to do my part. The project was always equal parts action and science. Come back in about... Uh, Six years or so. Then I will have concocted the nanotrite reprogramming agent, or serum, as I prefer to call it. Whoa, did you just say six years? Yes, thereabouts. The science cannot be rushed. Well, yes, it can, with better computing power. But alas, my lab is old and tired. Only the elusive Eco 15 still in orbit could provide the computing power to speed up this process. The Ecopod's still in orbit? Been hearing about that since I was a kid. Yes, it was a miscalculation. Remained on the firmament as the others came tumbling down. If Eco-15 was to be forced down, I could tap into the processing power of that ancient supercomputer. Think of it. Siphon that brute computing force into my poor old laboratory. Is there any way to force it down? Hmm. Yes. It can be done from the Eden Space Center. Then I'll do it. Yes. Wait a minute. You knew I was going to volunteer to do it, didn't you? Yes. I don't know if three of these are gonna join us in battle. Nah. They're just gonna provide me with, with some goodies. Oh god, I hate this road. Look at that. Kinda squeezing in here. Here we go. It's a long road. Wellspring. Finally. Let's see if we can't get a hold of Mayor Lusum Hagar. Go back to the discount rack. Just do everything you can to avoid it. Yes, first. Stop right there, she I'm looking for the mayor of Wellspring. Now you're in the right place, but at the wrong time. Mayor Hagar and her staff are in lockdown. Whatever your business, you can wait. Try another day, or don't try at all. Why? Has something happened? Nope. And I aim to keep it that way. Nobody gets in, nobody gets out. The mayor has bigger problems than you, Sideshow. Now, as I said... Oh. Hear that? Who is this fucker? 
Victor. Whoa. Impressive. You think you can catch a bullet too? Lusum Hagar, mayor of Wellspring. Used to be a wingstick whiz kid. Nowadays backs it up with a pistol. Instrumental to the dagger project. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy. I'm here about the dagger project. Huh. Just a very exclusive list knows about that project. And you're not on it. Prowley sent me. Prowley, huh? Prowley's dead. Vineland was razed to the ground. She's a holog... I can't explain. I'm Walker. The last of the Vineland Rangers. God damn it. More of these assholes! Ranger! Let's take these fuckers out! Then we'll talk! Same. They gunned down your people, I gunned down them. Maybe you will prove useful to me after all. Elevator? in a barrel. Whew. You got the skill for the kill, I grant you. <sighs> These goons are thoroughly dead. Not what I expect from your boxed in little, little compound. You're different. You ready to talk now? Yeah. Let's talk. You want to tell me what's going on here? Dagger was designed to stop the authority once and for all. Plans fell by the wayside when Vineland cut ties with us. I'm more than willing to reboot the project, but as you can see, I have more pressing matters. I can see that. Who are these guys? Tired thugs. The Goon Squad. Small-time bandit outfit. Who sent them? Only one scumbag with balls enough to pull a stunt like this. Clegg Clayton. Richest asshole in town. He's been eyeing the mayor's seat for a while, but lately he's been upping his game. Using bribed officials, he's laid claim to all of the city's military hardware, including the vital parts needed for Dagger. So I kill him and take back the hardware? No deal. We gotta proceed with some caution here. First, I wanna know where he gets his backing from. Second, we need to find out where he keeps all of that property. You got a plan? He's got an ego the size of an ecopod, but we can use that. If you get close to him, pay him lip service, get his trust. Then you can easily plant this gizmo on his computer. It'll let me download all of his juicy data. Who's backing him, who's supplying the goon squad, and where he keeps the seized supplies. Clegg Clayton likes to surround himself with the rich and famous. They hang out at his so-called winner's lounge. You figure out a way to get in there. And you're well on your way to getting that gizmo planted. Like, the okay, lip sinking is Excellent. horrible. Grab the gizmo, get into Clegg's office and stick it on Devs didn't even bother with that. Get in by winning. Winning how? Win at Mutant Bash TV and win the Chaz Car Derby. Become a champ. Easy peasy for someone as tough as you, right? That all? Yep. You make yourself a champ, you can just waltz on in and meet the man himself. There's no other way. Not for you. Like this game, if, if we're gonna look at the atmosphere right now, this game is preparing us for cyberpunk. I'm really hyped for it. Yeah. 
30% integrity. Weapon overheated. 30% integrity. Warning. 10% integrity. Safe mode engaged. Manual stairs mode initiated. Thank God. Here we go. Nice. <laughs> I cracked those panels good. Excellent. The Shrouded will have a harder time operating in this area now. Lucem, I'm entering the Mutant Bash TV arena. Keep an eye on your TV screen, because it's time to crack some muty skulls. I know you can, and I know you will. But be careful. Those things are nastier than... Oh, mes amis, look here. What a dashing rogue the city has sent our way this evening. You, yes, you, stranger, have you come to join us? Say it is so. Say you've wandered here from off the dark city streets and into this uh, boudoir of pleasure to join our little game. Because you have a hunger in your eyes. <laughs> Do tell me. Is it a hunger for the promises of the flesh I present you with? Hmm? A thirst, perhaps, for the reddest. Oh, yes, of wines. <laughs> or maybe the insatiable hunger of the true connoisseur. The lust to kill. <laughs> you have it. The promise of greatness. Allow us to sate your hunger for the kill, handsome. And sign here on the line. And now, sweet young thing, your journey to stardom shall commence. Kill! Yeah. Kill for yeah. Desdemonia! <laughs> okay. Okay. So is it something like Gladiator Arena? We will see. Here we go. Mutant Bash. And now, mes amis, for our next contender. Such grace, such flair, so debonair. I give you the incomparable Mutant Bash.
Got a fam up. Yes, that was that. Whew. You weren't kidding. You really kicked the shit out of those muties. Good job. That kind of quality slaughtering can make you a star. I still gotta get behind the wheel at Chaz Car Derby, though. Guys, I that know, was the most have. boring hey, well, gladiator match I've ever seen in any game. No skin off my back. Jesus as long as you Christ. Come through on your end, Mayor. You Okay, now let's go here.